Welcome back. Do you need an easy dessert to make for Thanksgiving? Well, how about this? A pumpkin truffle, Courtney. It comes together in minutes with some make-ahead shortcuts. That's right. Friend of the show and host of Good Taste TV, Tangie Patton, joins us now with this trifle recipe and some delicious fall wines that are just under 20 bucks. Hey, girlfriend, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you guys? We're great. Thank you so much. Okay, should we start with wine? Yes. As always. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Walk us through it, Tan. We're going to start with the white. Yes. So one of the most common questions this time of year we always get asked on Good Taste TV is what wine for Thanksgiving, right? So I went with some really good, inexpensive, no, no lose situations. The first one is the Josh uh, Sellers Chardonnay. Now this is the Sonoma County Chardonnay, but it's the reserve. So think of it in terms, we you know, we all love all the Josh wines, but Absolutely. think of this in turn as some of the top uh, lots in the vineyard. This is a really, these are the best grapes. So it's made it into their Sonoma County Reserve and it's just delicious. It's classic Chardonnay. It's not an oak bomb. It's not a butter bomb. It's just a lovely, easy drinking Chardonnay. It's very, very nice. It is delicious. I love the Josh label, and typically, I mean, you're you're like me. You would yeah. never reach for a Chardonnay, no. but I like this. I really do. Yeah. See, and I, I'm I'm right there with you. This one, this one, I really like. Now, another one I'm loving. You know, this is Beaujolais season. Mm -hmm. All the, the Beaujolais Nouveau comes out uh, in November, and this is a Gamay grape, which is what Beaujolais is. And I am loving this. This is called the Hospice de, de Relville, and my French is horrible. It's a brewery, which is the region it's from. But it is a gamay grape. It does see oak, but there's a bright, I mean, imagine you just bury your face in a bowl of cherries. That's what this wine tastes like. There's a ton of just burst of fruit, but at the same time, you get some layers of flavor, a little hint of the oak, a little smokiness maybe, uh, but it's really a great food wine because it's got some nice acidity to go with that you know, bright cherry fruit. It's that almost you get like right a, up front. a hint of tartness, but mm -hmm. it is definitely not a sweet wine. Plus, Tangie, no. when you say Beaujolais, it just sounds fancy. It's Beaujolais season. <laughs> I know. You know so you feel like you know what you're talking about. Plus, I think this is nice if somebody is just being introduced to a red wine because yes. it's not very heavy. It's a very nice light red, which is lovely for our kind of warmer afternoons that we're dealing with. Okay, so we've Absolutely. got the wine covered. With everything. Of course, as always, both of those are at HEB. And they're less than 20 bucks. I think that uh, Beaujolais is like 15 bucks. It's, mm. it's, a, it's really a good deal. It okay. really is great. Okay, let's dive into the dessert with this trifle. Yes, so you guys, I'm going to guide you through it. This okay. is the easiest thing you will ever make in your life. Well. Kiddos can help out with it. <laughs> Not when we're involved, Tangie. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to find out, Courtney. <laughs> let's see how well you guys follow instructions. Okay, it's so easy. Now, you don't have to have a trifle dish. You could do this in a bowl. You can do it in anything you want. It's all about the flavors, really, but it is pretty in the end. So what you're going to start with, pumpkin bread. Now, you can do it the old-fashioned way and make it if you want, or just go to the store and buy already made things. H-E-B right now has got some really great pumpkin muffins, and just start tearing it up. So your oh. first layer, exactly, will be the pumpkin bread. So, and the whole idea with the trifle here, Tangie, is we're just going layer by layer, right? Layer by layer, texture, color, and flavor. So after you've got that in there, you may want to toss in some nuts. Give it some, yeah, there you go. Oh, toss some nuts in, you said? Yeah, give it a little texture. Okay. And after that, you're going to start adding in that pumpkin cream. Now, the pumpkin cream we made for you guys, it's got mascarpone cheese in there. It's got heavy whipping cream, cinnamon, oh, nutmeg, ginger. Lovely. It's really flavorful. It's got some good stuff. So okay. put a layer of that. Okay. It's also beautiful. It is so, and it's, it smells it delicious. Is. And then the next thing that really takes this to another level, this is cajeta. So this is Goya's cajeta. They do all the work for you. If you can't get to the store and you have a can of Eagle brand milk, you can boil it slowly. Oh yeah. Uh, cover it with water for a couple of hours. You'll get a very similar product. And that's but, yeah, the Eagle that sweetened on. condensed milk, right, Tangie? Sweetened condensed milk. Okay, wow. And then we, we want to layer again, right? And then layer again. Go back with your pumpkin bread and you continue to build layers. You can throw in the whipped cream that you make yourself or you can do it the simple way, which is what I did and just bought Absolutely. Gosh, this pumpkin bread smells amazing. Because it oh all goodness. tastes good in the end anyway. So, again, layer by layer, and I think we showed a picture of the finished product earlier. Let's pop that, that up again so our viewers can see what it's supposed to look like when it's done. You top it with the whipped cream, and then, Tangie, when it comes time to serve, 
Do you just dig in with a large serving spoon? <laughs> well, yeah, you can. Oh, I thought you meant like give everybody a spoon and have them go at it. You could do that. Pre-COVID, we yeah, would do that. You just, you dig in and you can make the cream, the pumpkin cream uh, the night before if you like. It'll be fine. Just give it a good little stir the next day. And then you can store it in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve it. I'm telling you, I don't love pumpkin, but I love this dessert. It's really good. Our recipe developer came up with it, and it's just fantastic. Well, it looks delicious, and Courtney and I didn't quite finish ours. Oh, wow, that's a very large bite, but I'm going to go for it. Okay. <laughs> it I love anything anyway. pumpkin, so I know I'm going to be a fan. Good? We did good? It's so good. I love the fact that you already bought the muffins, Tangie. I think that is super yes. smart. It saves the time, and let H-E-B do the work. Save time. Absolutely. And these are really delicious muffins. Look for them in the bakery section. They come in those plastic containers, yep. you know, that you, you open. They're good all by themselves, but they're really good in this dessert. Tanji, thank you so much. This is a great tip. I hope some of our viewers make it. And we hope to see you very soon. Happy Thanksgiving. Absolutely. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Lots to be thankful for here. Absolutely. Cheers to you, Lots friend. of love to you Cheers. and your family, Tanji. And a reminder to our viewers, you can catch Tanji's show, Good Taste with Tanji, weekend mornings right here on KPRC Channel 2. Just set your DVRs for 5.30 a.m.